It's good to be in your midst today and may God honor you. Today, I'm going to talk about choose your friends wisely. Do not let friends choose you. You choose who you call your friends. It's very important. When you allow people to be choosing you without checking their profile, knowing who they are, anyone that just say, I want to be your friend, you just accommodate them. Anyone that say, ah, I want to be your friend, I like your way, you just bring them to your house. You just bring them close to yourself. The majority of people have found themselves in where they are not supposed to be today. They have bring people that prepare their early grave. As I speak now, most people that accommodate people, the person they just meet, if that person might be on a mission, might be on assignment, sent to you because they have seen your destiny, your style, they want to terminate it. You just see them on the road. They can come in, in various forms. When people want to get you, they can come in various forms. And if you are not careful, you must fall into the trap. If they try the first one, fail, the second one, the third one, you might not. Some, it takes them three years before they were able to get you. Some, it took them even 10 years. You don't know. When people are after your life, after your destiny, they will come in various forms. They will come in various forms until they get you. So be careful. Be careful and choose your friends wisely. Do not be in the haste to choose friends. Know the kind of person you are calling, you are choosing as a friend. If you are choosing someone to be your friend, you have to know the implication. It has to be someone that your primary interest is in his heart or her heart. Someone that have your interest in their heart. Someone that is ready to be there for you. In terms of protection, in terms of saying good things about you, in terms of wishing you well, in terms of praying for you, in terms of guiding you correctly, in terms of leading you correctly, in terms of assisting you, good friends assist you in all way. Good friends help you in all way. Good friends guide you in all way. Good friends always encourage you, always push you to the right direction. Every second I day, you be thinking what to do to survive. survive, survive. If you're not blessing that, it's where we find our strength. Believing, we didn't believe in our dreams, we ain't dead in tears. We could not to our fears. Go down, stand behind. We know the nuts, that we're empty. Choking as we come from the chest. Best by the hate and the haste and the torture. We tryna give it the best. You must not choose people with your own hand that will lead you to early grave. People that will now prepare you and push you into becoming a secret court member, into becoming an odd occult, into becoming a fraternity member. You need to be careful. You need to choose wisely. Choose wisely before you choose a friend or accept someone's offer to be your friend. You need to study them. Study them, know their in and out, know their roots. Assess them critically, spiritually and otherwise before you accept them as friends. It's not everyone you can just bring to your house. Your house is your altar. It's not everyone that you need to bring to your house. Before you bring someone into your house, you could be single, you could be married. Please be careful. Be careful, assess them and know their mission. If they are genuine, good. If they are not genuine, please don't allow them close to you most of this kidnapping and attack that happen even arm robbery and whatever that happen most of them is somebody that is close to you even family members does that they will give information to the outsider it's common among friends they'll say yeah this is what he wants and this is what he said he want to do some friends can even hijack your plans they can steal your idea I've seen that happen many occasions. I've seen even people that come together for an interview. The other person will come from the back and say, ah, <clears throat> sir, please, that person, I want to advise you, please don't give him that position. If you give him, he have faith in, in that company. When they give him such uh, opportunity in this place, he messed up, he steal their money, he do this one, he do this one, he do this one. They will say all sorts. And this is a friend that you brought to an interview. A place where you are expecting breakthrough. He will come and spoil it for you. He will come and scatter everything. So be careful who you associate yourself with. Be careful who you choose as a friend. Please, 
choose your friends wisely. Apply divine wisdom when choosing people to say, this is my friend. She is my friend. He is my friend. Yeah, you introduce your friend to somebody. So before you can do that, make sure you assess them critically. If you don't do physical assessment, spiritual assessment, and physical analysis, these same people you brought to introduce to someone as a friend, they can ruin you. I have seen where so-called friends take their friend's girlfriend, even sleep with their friend's wife. I have seen where so-called friends take their friend's husband, even take what belongs to their friends. I have seen it. I have seen where friends, they are after their friend's position in an office. I have seen where friends blackmail friends. You know, so be careful. Be careful who you choose as a friend. Friends are hard to find. Most people they will say there is no friend. Most people will say there is no friend. The only people that you can call friends is God that cannot betray you. It's your wife that is genuine or your husband that is genuine. The world we are now, so many of these wife and husband, they are not even genuine. It takes the grace of God. If you are opportune to have a good wife, cherish them. If you have a good husband, cherish him. Cherish them. Don't let them go. Because the world we are, <clears throat> There's a lot of deceptive concept everywhere. You see a lot of people are deceiving themselves in marriage. You see husband lying to the wife, wife lying to the husband. They are playing game. Marriage have become a game because they are not friends. If you marry your friend, that marriage will be peaceful. You can relate to her. You can relate to him because you are friends. Not just lover and lover, but friends. Marry a friend instead of a stranger. I advise you today, to look critically before you make someone your friend. A good friend is, he will protect you, she will protect you. A good friend will be there for you in terms of name. In, every, in any way, it will be there for They will defend you, they will guide you, they will follow you. A good friend will not, will not let anything happen to you. I see friends that take a bullet for their friends. Those are the kind of friends you should call your friends. No friends that are after what you have. They want to make friends with you because of the car you are driving. They want to make friends with you because of the house you are living. They want to make friends with you because of your position. They want to make friends with you because of who you are. Do you consider what if you don't have this thing, you don't have the car, you don't have the house, would they still call you their friends? So those are the things you need to put into consideration while choosing friends. People even want to choose friends when they don't have nothing. A friend that when know that you don't have food to eat, they will bring food from their house and give you food and say, ah, please, let's manage this food together. It's Gary and Peanut, so let's eat it together. You understand? A friend that know you when you have nothing. So those are the kind of friends they keep. A person that know you when you have nothing. A person that's, that know you when you have no record, when you have no name, when you have no car, you have no building, you have no success, you have no position. These are real friends. These are where you can get real friends from. But it's not someone because of who you are now, because of the cars you have, houses you have, the position you, you are, they are, everybody want to be your friend. So it's difficult to identify good friends like this. It's difficult. Friends that always want you to go to club, that want you to chase women, that want you to do this, that want you to do this one, these are the kind of friends that can lead you astray. These are the kind of friends that can make you join occult. You will not know when, but majority of people that join occult that John Secret Court, they were not prepared, they didn't know. They didn't know they are going to get to that extent, but they should have known. That's what I'm here to tell you now. You should have known, you should be able to foresee, you should be able to assess people 
critically, spiritually, physically and otherwise before you accommodate them, before you give them that room to become your friend. You need to be careful who you choose as your friend. If not, it's going to affect your life. Be careful. A lot of people are bringing people all in the name of friends and at the end, the friends that you brought in will pregnant your sister, will pregnant your girlfriend, will pregnant your wife. A friend. Be careful. A friend that you brought into a company that ah, there is job, this is where I'm working. They will end up blackmailing you, making you to lose your opposition. So be careful. Be careful what you are doing all in the name of he's my friend. She's my friend. Oh, my friend. My friend is here. Oh, my friend. My friend. Be careful. Be careful how you choose your friend and know who you choose as a friend. Thank you, beloved, for listening to my message. And please share this message to all your contacts. And as you do so, may God bless you. We have a membership program in our IG, in our Facebook page. In this channel, please join as you do so. You have one-on-one -on -one counseling session with me for free. And share this video to your friends and well wish once again. Remain blessed. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Since I can't lose my friend